as finals time. Let's do it. Um, this hand number. Wish I had one one mountain. I think if we had one mountain, I would probably keep this, but I can't. I can't keep like a four cards I can't play. So I think that's a mulligan. This is fine. Garrick. That's a turn three Garrick. That's pretty good. Can take turn one elves, turn two, turn two Karyatid. And if we draw a land, we can play the Garrick. I think, well, let's see. And twine this is nine, right? So we're gonna have turn one, let's say, forest elves, then turn two Karyatid. If we can get turn three Lotus, we're gonna have three lands, six, seven, eight. So we will one land away from two and in turn four and with entwine. I think I'm gonna put this on bottom then. We're actually one turn away from entwining uh, tooth and nail, so that's pretty good. Here's the land. If we can entwine tooth and nail turn four, it's pretty decent. Opponent passing the turn. Ooh, that's also a pretty good draw. Um, I'm going to attack, I guess. I think there's a flash creature that can punish me. All right, cool. Carry it. In. Next time I'm gonna run out, run out the lotus, and then we can tooth and nail with entwine. All right. That's fine. Soaring. Woo. So we can play. Can we play Titan? Yeah. So what's better here? Titan or Guild Lotus to sing to Tooth and Nail? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna have six. So I can play, play Titan here. Or just Tooth and Nail next turn. Can we Tooth and Nail next turn anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. I think I'm gonna go for the Tooth and Nail plan. So let's play Soling. And let's play Lotus. And let's bash for one. Alright, next one is gonna be fun. Hopefully we can get there. If our opponent has got like a thought series or something that would like, well we have the thought series, but if he has something that like takes a tooth and nail that would be annoying. A Johnny? Sure. And sewing does on top, sure. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man. So we can just inferno Titan and we can just kill a Johnny with the Titan. Yeah. Let's see, one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's nine, yeah, okay, so we play, we pay one, two, three, four, five, six, play Titan, shoot a Johnny for three, and attack him for one. Yeah, all right, that's three to a Johnny. And that's a taking a Johnny. All right. Do we have like some way to? I mean, you can keep a Johnny if you have some sort of path to exile or something like that. But wouldn't you rather do it on the Inferno Titan? I mean, the fact that our opponent is thinking about doing something is weird. Yeah, okay, I'm drawing down. Cool, cool, cool. So now we have Tooth and Nail, Wood and Twine, or we can just Chandra. Sure. Alright. So what can we Tooth and Nail for? Let's see. We have like Prime Time and Avenger. We can get Sundering Titan and Prime Time. Sundering Titan and Avenger. Yeah. This is gonna be 
Oh, we can get Avenger in prime time. No, I think just killing his lands is better. So let's just tooth and nail. Actually, you know what? Um, I think I'm going to attack with it. Well, let's see. Three tooth and nail. It's going to be nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Hmm. Yeah, well. Let's just attack with a Titan. Shoot him for three. And I'm gonna play around Mana Tithe. It's dumb, but I think the one damage wouldn't be that, that relevant. We can pump it by six. Which is kind of crazy. Um, okay, damage. Damage. All right, figured. All right, let's get a forest. And now let's do the nail. Why won't you do it pre before attackers? So let's do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. All right, cool. So let's get, I think, I think my Mimble Titan Southern Titan is just the strongest. We can do Sundering Titan and I mean Prime Time Avenger is just Yeah, I think just doing these two is better. And put them both into play. And it doesn't really matter. Let's destroy one, let's destroy two, let's destroy three. Done. Let's get some land. Let's get forest mountain. Let's, um, yeah, I guess we can play the elves. And test. So playing the elves because now it, we have exactly 15 damage. Okay, not anymore. Now we can block. So opponent up to it's an X spell toxic deluge no some sort of wrath of god effect we still have a chandra if so and we're gonna lose two lands yeah it is toxic deluge. Okay. Wow, toxic damage for 10. That's a lot. One, two, three. Okay, cool. So yeah, that was another reason to. Oh, well, there goes a Lotus, but we can just get it back. We'll just use Chanda to shoot it. Chandra. Let's. Well, if he has a if he has a, a, a swamp, he can kill my Chandra. That sucks. Hmm. 
maybe we can dodge it for one turn. Opponent is playing. Ooh. Alright. Well, this game isn't over. It's not even close. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I can play everything in my deck. Including this dude. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, wow, that was an amazing hit. And play first. That was cool. All right, that's game one. So we saw a Johnny Petergsa Toxic Deluge, Really Quarter, and Goom again. Make a signet. All right, anything I want to board in? Um, seasons past maybe. I don't think so. Maybe season passed over something, like over Awakening Zone, for example. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I like that. I like like season passed over over the Awakening Zone, maybe. The Awakening Zone, Awakening Zone blocks all of his creatures, so maybe we want that. Maybe we could take out something else. Maybe. What else? Maybe Bonfire. What else is pretty good though? Against creature decks. Um, maybe Firecraft? No, Firecraft is probably pretty good as well. Maybe Garok? Also pretty good, I think. Maybe we just don't play the seasons past. Okay, let's see. What can we take out? Maybe the Protector? We play the season pass, maybe we can just take out the den protector. Yeah. Alright, let's try this. I mean the protector is pretty much the same uh, thing as the season pass, just with the body, but the season pass can get us some stuff back. And again, we can't keep that. Uh, no, we can't keep this hand. Ugh. I guess that with a Skype, that's keepable because of the Karyatid. If we can get like a land into playing Karyatid or even one drop accelerant, that's okay. With two uh, plane walkers. So we have stuff to do, we just need to hit the mana. And Oracle is also great, obviously. Okay, Avenger, not what I was looking for. Now we need a mana source. We need an untapped land. Oremox. Plateau. Okay. Nothing. Just in time. No mana type, please. Good. That was very important. And that hit was amazing. Okay, so now we can play Garrick and get a 2 2. We can play Xenagos and get a 2 2. Or Oracle. I think I just want to play Xenagos. Um, that way, next turn I can start generating some mana. Let's get a 2 2. And let's attack. Alright. So now we have Gale if he plays a small creature. Um, we have fire. We, well, we don't have. Well, yeah, we have firecraft with the Xenagos if we want to get rid of something bigger. Let's say this Chandra. Uh, actually, Chandra doesn't really do much. We just attack her. I mean, I can. Well, let's see. So I can Xenagos plus. Get two mana. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. In six mana, I can do 
Firecraft and that's it right so the other lines we can play Oracle we can play Oracle for 4 then Xenagos plus gain 3 mana and then Firecraft yeah I like that So okay, that way we can also hit a land. And if our opponent has got Toxic Deluge, we have uh, a stacked hand, so we can bounce pretty easily. Okay, we have a land on top, that's good. Another one? Yeah, perfect. And Chandra, that's amazing. Alright, so now we have 5 mana. So what can we do if we can also play Wall of Roots? So wait a second. If we play Wall of Roots, we're gonna have 4, 5 mana again. So Wall of Roots is pretty much free. So... 4, 5 mana. If we play Firecraft, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't want our opponent to draw cards. I mean, how much do we care about this Chandra anyway? It gives him another draw. Yeah, you know, let's just kill the Chan. Let's just kill the Chandra. I mean, yeah, let's just kill the Chandra. I really don't want. Uh, I really don't want my opponent to uh, kill my Xenagos, so I'm just going to kill the Chandra. Instead of having a... Instead of him having a Chandra, getting another card and maybe dealing damage to my Xenagos, so I'm just going to take Chandra off the board. So now we have a Chandra of our own next turn. We have a Xenagos to get us uh, mana all creatures. We have Avenger if we hit lands on top. We have Garuk to kill Skatcher, we have Chandra to kill Skatcher. Yeah, pretty good. Both Signet, that's fine. Looks like he feels like a wildfire deck. Yeah, there's the deluge. All right. So now what? Now we can play Garak. Yeah, let's play Garak. Let's get a creature. Let's get a creature with Xenagos and let's attack for two. So next turn we have either Avenger or Chandra if our opponent, if our planeswalker leaves. Planeswalker leave. Not leave L E A but leave L I V. Okay. And if our opponent does something too crazy, that's that would suck. <laughs> I mean, Wildfire here and our opponent is in decent shape. He's gonna go down to 8, but he's gonna keep 3 lands and we're gonna have nothing. We're gonna have, Well, Xenagos can generate mana. It's close, I think. Is this a Wildfire? Oh, Siege Gang. Ooh, that's a good card. Alright, I can just fight the Siege Gang, but then he can shoot the Gerok and kill it. That sucks. So I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose a creature to uh, Siege Gang. Wait, what? Okay. Now I can just fight the Siege Gang and generate a token, Awakening Zone. Okay, so so I can do something. I can just create a creature. 
get two red mana play Chandra kill the siege gang that's one line the other line is shoot the siege gang get a 2-2 two -two. play awakening zone um, what do we want Can I just play in the Chandra? So what? So we generate a creature. And we add some mana. Red. Red. Play Chandra. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. Kill that dude. Play Awakening Zone. And now, yeah, it's your turn. I'm, I'm holding the wolves back so they can defend Chandra if he attacks it. Ooh. That's a stone card. That is a very strong card. So now those four cards, jeez, Coquelamp is busted. So, what's our line? Let's see what survives. What survives? Don't kill my planeswalkers, please! Okay, well, Kitchen Finks, that's one of the least threatening things he could have played. Sure, you got Kitchen Finks. What else? Young Grasper doing that on the things, sure. Let's get an Odazi token. Mox Ruby, that's fine. So let's play Mox. Now we have seven mana before Zenagos. So we plus Chandra. And he the land. Okay. So now we fight here. Yeah, let's fight here because this is two damage with the. Okay. And let's get another two two. And I'm just going to play Avenger and not have him draw cards. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, your turn. So I, I didn't want him to draw cards because that's his way back into this game. If he has like Wrath of God or something. But next turn we have... Do we have the kill? We, no, we don't. It's very close though. Oh wait, actually... Yeah. He needs to play something, otherwise he's dead. Because if he just blocks here... We, we play the Chandra, deal 2 to him, and then this guy gives a kitchen with, gets a kitchen with haste. Imperial Tutor, that's very good. You can also skull clamp that. Okay. Maybe I should have attacked just because Chandra <coughs> is on the board, on the board, and she does stuff. 
But if we just we need to hit a land. If we hit a land, if we get a land, oh, just the bomb creature. We're good. We can also just search our library for a creature. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Woo, that would be great. Figure of Destiny, sure. You got it, the puppet. So we'll search our library and get Sundering Titan? Ooh, prime time! Ooh, we'll get Primeval Titan. Primeval Titan, then we have all these plants become super plants. Yeah, ooh. And we just sack the Eldrazi from the Awakening Zone. Ooh, this is going to be fun! Gilded Lotus. Alright. So, this is going to be great. We can get a bunch of mana from Xenagos. Let's see. So we sack this, get prime time. We start with Chandra, if we want to. Maybe we just hit Primeval Titan. Okay. Forest. All right. So now we get. Can we play the Gilded Lotus? I don't think so, right? We have five, six mana. No, no, no. I mean, I can get a, lot, a bunch of mana from Xenagos, but it's not worth it. So let's just sack a creature. Let's sack the Eldrazi spawn. So I can become a 2 do right? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get Primeval Titan. We can also get Inferno Titan, but then it just sacks the spirit. Alright, let's just get Primeval Titan. Play Primeval Titan. Get two lands. Mountain, mountain. All of these creatures become huge. And this almost makes sure that it doesn't have Path to Exile because why wouldn't we use it first? Let's generate another 2 2. And let's smack easy the four blockers. And we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten attackers. So it blocks four of the ten. Yeah, it seems like feels like lethal. Yeah. So six go through. And that's twelve damage. Good game. Sure, your creatures are indestructible. Is this game? Yeah. All right. Fun. Oh yeah. This this goes here because you know that makes sense. Theo, that was great. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I had a lot of fun, Cube is great, feel free to subscribe because I'm going to upload way more of those. Um, and yeah, see you for the, see you the next time, we're playing this, bye!